How's it going everybody? Ragroth here. So I know I'm a little late to this, but so IGN also recently not dropped a Red Hood trailer, but now they dropped another gameplay demo demonstration of him. This one is considered high level as well. So I have re read some comments and thoughts about this. I haven't watched it. And it seems like it's generally like some people say it's better. Some people say it's worse. Some people say it's about the same. From what I'm hearing, I'm probably not going to be super impressed with it. But I wanted to kind of give my own kind of look on it, my own opinion on it. And I figured let's check it out right now. Okay. Oh, there's his uh, Night Ops outfit. We haven't seen that in gameplay yet. There's the Shinobi one. We made the decision the Gotham Knights collectively were working together and that they were reflecting this notion of the Bat family. Ooh, so I like that. We wanted him to be aligned with the intentions of the rest of the family in that sense. He's still an angrier person, especially. So this kind of confirms you can do co-op with the same character, which I'm okay with. I know it's a little immersion breaking, but eh. Gives more freedom. I want to know the technology behind that. Oh, here's his uh, Hadouken. That is kind of cool. That's cool. I, we haven't seen that takedown yet. Okay, so, so he does move a little faster. So he does have a close range. Our largest character, and he's got the best grab and throw mechanics in Gotham Knight. That's hmm. really, you know, sort of brutal hand to hand focused skill tree. So if you're into that style of play, it's a great place to invest early to get the most out of Red Hood. That was cool. So these powers them up with like electricity? Hmm. Hey look, more scumbag looking for a beat. I guess that's called like Mystic Charge. Bop. So it does look like he does have some close range move. He's just kind of like a little slower and bulkier. Stay tuned later this week where we'll be digging into oh. skill trees and how they work. For more from our Gotham Knights IGM first, check out the first 16 minutes of gameplay or how the Knights built their Gotham Man, that was so fast. 400 years of history. Oh, yeah, that was actually cool seeing some Robin free 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 flow. Free free roam. 
The city does look amazing. But anyway, uh, so on this, um, well, let me preface it by saying this. I am a character loyalist. If I like the character, I am going to play as them regardless if their play style or their tier list, what a tier list placement or whatever you want to call it is the highest or my preference. Um, and as I've said many times, Red Hood is probably one of my favorite DC characters, probably one of my favorite comic book characters. And I've waited a while for him to kind of be playable in a game where he's not just a DLC character, like some side mission or something like that. Though with that said, I'm, mm, I'm not in love with how they kind of handled how he fights. I don't mind the non-lethal rounds things. To me, guns are guns, bullets are bullets from a gameplay perspective. As I keep, I keep saying this to people constantly, but in Arkham Knight, if Red Hood shot someone, they fall down the same way as if Batman threw a batarang at them. There's no blood or bullet holes or anything like that. So it's really, I guess, just a narrative thing, a gameplay thing, immersion. I don't know whatever you want to call it. I don't really care about that. I think the main thing that sort of limits him with that is funnily enough the mystic stuff so the mystic stuff as we know in the comics he the main thing we've seen him get are these mystic blades called the all cast or something like that i remember reading red Hood and the outlaws i don't remember too much but i remember that and those are pretty cool but he can't really have those because they're swords and it's kind of hard to swing them around and not kill people unless you do some roroni kenshin shit where you make the blade reverse or, you know, you have the high-frequency blade from Metal Gear Solid 2 where you make it, I guess, so it just stuns or something. They're probably not going to do that. And the other thing, too, we also got to remember, a lot of times we see Red Hood, he uses a knife. Like, in Justice 2, he used a knife. In under the, under the Red Hood film, he used a knife here and there, like, to cut the, uh, the grappling hook from his leg, I remember. And can't really swing around a knife without killing people. <laughs> So, I th and you know, in Arkham Knight, some of his takedowns, he would like snap their necks. And you can't really snap someone's neck, again, without killing them. So, it's, that's I think the annoying thing. I don't really mind the non-lethal bullets. I mind that it limits his arsenal. That's what I think kind of sucks about it, to be honest. This is why I'm just not, <laughs> this is why Batman himself kind of gets my nerves. Because it's just like, this whole not killing thing, I just think it's, I understand from a story perspective. But from like a gameplay perspective, and just kind of fun and all that, it's just, lame in all honesty and it just kind of sucks they all and i mean i understand like if he didn't if he didn't do the non-lethal thing then he wouldn't be able to work with the, the other threes it's just it's just how it is and if then if they were okay with that then people would have been pissed about their depictions as well there would have been there's a this is a no-win scenario really this was i think kind of the best they could do without you know pissing too many people off which i think they still kind of have and i think I don't, him being slower and all that, it's, I understand, like, and I get it does make him different from the other three, and he is the bulkier, I think he is, he is generally considered a little bulkier than even Bruce Wayne, it's just a shame, because it's like, you know, we're used to Jason being like this kind of like quick, you know, skilled martial artist, and I'm not saying, you know, he's not a skilled martial artist in this, it's just not as, I guess, graceful, not as agile that we were kind of used to. At the very least, you know, like, I don't mind him having the guns in his hands all the time, but I guess he could have done more kicks. Like, I remember in Arkham Knight, instead of, you know, since he doesn't have a cape, his stun move, he would just kind of do, like, a roundhouse kick. Like, something like that, you know? Um, what I'm thinking is a possibility is that he will have three builds. One will be a brawler build, one will be a gun one, and then one might be a mystic one. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. But, yeah, like... I'm going to use, look, I'm going to use Red Hood regardless. There's, there's no getting around that. I'm using him. I'm, I'm going to use all four characters. He is going to be one of my more mains, though. Even if I may be a little more impressed with, objectively, at least I'm more impressed with probably Robin and Batgirls. Probably Nightwings as well, but I like him about the same as Red Hood, generally speaking, so I'm not even really counting him in that. But, yeah, I, I do think this does look better than the last gameplay demo we saw. I, I, think, I think it is still an improvement there. It's just, you know... I do wish he was the quicker, more agile kind of. He had some other weapons like knives. He used the all blades, like things like that. I don't know. Maybe what they can do is maybe he does get the all blades, but maybe they're just ethereal. They're not like kind of, I think they had a physical form, I think. But maybe they make a more ethereal, like kind of the green energy. And maybe just say like, you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't actually kill people. It just, I don't know something it stuns them <laughs> but yeah and i'm i'm also like obviously we've seen the only two outfits we saw in this were outfits we've seen revealed in the art before and i think maybe even the red hood demo um 
But yeah, the Night Ops one does look cool. I think it did look a little better in artwork for him, but maybe it just needed... I think maybe it just needed a little d darker in color scheme. Maybe that was the only thing I didn't like about it. But And again, I am a little disappointed. We still haven't seen like a kind of Arkham Knight-styled outfit or a, you know titan style outfit or he even had some in justice 2 where you know he had kind of a leather jacket and a hood over his head that's the one thing i'm just waiting for like it doesn't have to exactly be arkham knight i just kind of wish we saw an outfit like that but again that could probably at least change that could be at fixed dlc or something like that his general gameplay probably won't be fixed you know what we see what we get probably there especially with the game only like it's only only two only a little over two months away now but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I know Red Hood has been a very, 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 very divisive um, aspect of this game. And I personally don't mind the Mystic Leap or the, you know, the Mystic Shot, I guess. I think they're fine. Um, I think it just kind of sucks he can't use the actual Mystic thing he did use in the comics. That's what I think is the bigger bummer here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like the video if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. It's whatever. You know, definitely subscribe if you haven't seen it. If you if you've seen this video and some of my others and you, and you like my content, it would really help the channel a lot. But as I always say, another time, another place. Keep being awesome. Bye bye.